Those are the Ravenstein's Laws of Migration. And I have four people here that I have interviewed and that connect to some of these laws of migration. I'll tell you about them right now. First, we have Miss Burton, uh, who was born in England and currently lives in Texas. And she left her country because of work. So right off, we can say that she connects to uh, the law eight economic factors for work. Um, her standard of living here is positive with uh, a less cost of living as it was in London. And her family and friends miss her in that country and that is how it affected her home country. And that goes to eight, the eighth law. It connects to her and the seventh law because she is a female and she was more migratory. So second person we have, is, her name is Miss Bliss. And we can already say that number seven law is what connects to her because she is a girl. And she was born in Germany and now she lives in California. And she left her country because she wanted to travel and explore. Uh, so she came to America. And we can already say that that law connects to number five. Long distance migrants go to one of the great centers of commerce and industry, which is California. And what happens is she left her country because she wanted to travel and um, she got into education instead and she went to the University of California Riverside. Uh, the third person is Miss Keown uh, who was born in Ireland so she connects to number seven again because she is a woman and uh, she left her country because uh, for job opportunities for a husband. So that also connects to eight, which is economic factors are the main cause of migration. And um, she worked as a teacher where uh, she got pulled to America because of law eight, like I said. And um, she also is related to five because it was a long distance migration. And uh, she likes it here because there is a more diverse community. And yes, that is, we have one more person, and her name is Miss Heldman. So as every single one of them have been, they connect to the, the law seven because of females. They're all females instead of males. And she was born in Ecuador. So that is pretty, pretty far away from Texas, where she is now. So that connects to... Uh, number five, which mo some of them have, and uh, they wanted a better life moving to California. So eight, the law eight would work in this situation, and it uh, would not. It goes back and forth, and uh, she says more opportunities for her family here, and moving has been the best opportunity for her. And those are the laws of migrate, Ravenstein's laws of migration for my AP human class. And I hope you guys learned something today.